couple of years ago, I discovered the Font Awesome font, and the idea behind this is that this is a true type font or an, or an open uh, type font that you can download and install on your computer and then use in your e-learning courses. The only problem was that when you tried to use it within responsive design projects, uh, it would be looking for that font on the user's mobile device, let's say. But of course, it's not there. So here's my solution. Here's my workaround to get this web-based font available so that you can have some really cool iconography uh, for your navigation controls, your submit buttons, uh, and so on in your responsive design e-learning projects. So let's start off like we're assuming that this is a blank slate. I'm going to open up my browser here and just visit the Font Awesome website. Now, Font Awesome has changed their primary font from version 4.7, which is the version I originally discovered, to version 5, and it works a little bit differently. So what I'm going to recommend that you do is scroll down to the bottom of the fontawesome.com website and get right down to the bottom here where it says old version 4.7. So we're going to click on that, and that's going to take you to the old version of Font Awesome. And so there's a couple things that we need to do. First of all, we're going to download the font so that you can use it on your desktop applications, more specifically Adobe Captivate. Uh, of course, I'm going to get this uh, warning message, of course, because they really want you to use the new version. I'm going to say no thanks, just download Font Awesome 4. And I'm going to choose save in this case here. Uh, and I'm going to put it on my desktop for, for ease of access here. So once that's downloaded, I can minimize my browser. And I'm just going to extract all of these fonts from this particular zip folder. And we'll go into here and we'll look at the fonts themselves. So you'll see there's uh, it's usually offered in a variety of different formats. But the open type font is, is certainly sufficient. So I'm going to right click on this. And for Windows users, you can just install this. And this will ensure that the Font Awesome font is available to you. So we're going to return to this page here. I'm going to get rid of these messages here. And we'll just click away. And uh, what we want to do is go to the Get Started tab. Now this is a place where you can type in your email address. So I'm just going to type in and then we're going to send my Font Awesome embed code. And that's important to get the Font Awesome font to work in your Adobe Captivate projects, especially when you're publishing for something like an iPad or an Android smartphone or any device really that uh, doesn't already have the Font Awesome font installed. So I'm going to click that send button there and I should receive an email from the Font Awesome folks. We'll just go to my email and we'll click on the email in question here. And I'm going to copy this, uh, this embed code here and we'll just highlight that and I'm going to use Control C on my keyboard and that's pretty much good to go. Now, with Adobe Captivate, when you publish your e-learning course, one of the files that gets published in your e-learning package is an index.html file. Now, you can manually put that code that I've just copied into each and every index.html file that you publish from Adobe Captivate, but there's actually an easier way. So I'm going to right-click on the icon for Adobe Captivate, and select the properties and then I'm going to click on open file location. This is going to take me to the program folder of where Adobe Captivate is located and I'm actually looking for a folder called HTML all in uppercase characters. And if we go into there you'll see that there is basically a default index.html file which will get used by all of your published uh, HTML5 e-learning projects. So I'm going to right click on this and I'm going to actually open it with Notepad. 
And you'll see here a, a bunch of pre-built uh, HTML script. What we want to do is we want to just go below the head entry or the header entry, and we're going to paste in that font awesome script code. Now, you may not be able to save this to its original location, but what we can do is we can just go file, save as, and what I can do is I can just put this on my desktop for easy access. So I can now close the index.html notepad file. And what we can do is grab that index.html file that we've just created. This is the one that includes the code for Font Awesome and drag this into the folder here. Now you'll get a warning message asking if you wish to replace this file in the destination. I'm gonna click on the check mark and I may need to give administrator permissions so I'm going to do that, continue. So now I have that code in the index.html file. So in other words, every time I publish a responsive design e-learning course, it's going to include the reference to that uh, particular Font Awesome website and the Font Awesome uh, web uh, code as well. So let's close this all out now. And what we're going to do is we're going to launch a an Adobe Captivate project that already has some Font Awesome fonts installed. So as you can see, I've included some navigation controls along the bottom. And if I click on one of these and of course open my properties inspector, you'll see that it's using the Font Awesome font. I've made it nice and large. And with this particular item, I've even got some cool rollover states uh, and we'll be able to test that out. So you can do one of two things at this point. You can either publish this out, upload it to your learning management system or your web server, or we could preview it at this point as well. Let's try preview, live preview on devices and see if that works. So I know for a fact that my iPad does not have this font installed. So let's test it out and see if it works. All I need to do is open up the camera app and point it at my desktop here, and it will give me a message to open this particular project in my browser. And the good news is, is that you can see clearly that I have the Font Awesome font displayed nicely, and of course the over and down states will work as well. And of course being responsive design, I can do this as well and have it show up nice and clean and well displayed. If you thought this video was useful, please share it with your colleagues. If you need help with your next e-learning project, consider hiring me. My focus is to create effective e-learning that helps you achieve your business goals. Visit my website at CaptivateTeacher.com, follow me on Twitter at PaulWilsonLD, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.